We begin with a tragic milestone reached on Tuesday in the United States. More than one million Americans have now contracted the coronavirus. That's according to the tally kept by Johns Hopkins University. More than 58,000 Americans have died from COVID-19, the disease caused by the virus. Now, proof of how quickly the virus has spread. On April 10, the number of cases in the U.S. stood at 500,000, but it took just 18 days for that figure to double. All the while, U.S. President Trump facing criticism and questions for what he did and didn't do to stop the virus. Like many other countries in the early days of the pandemic, the United States was in denial about the true danger of the coronavirus. It's going to disappear. One day it's like a miracle. It will disappear. In the name of Jesus, we thank you. But the miracle didn't happen and the prayer didn't help. Certainly not in states like New York. COVID-19 hit the Big Apple hard. Hospitals were soon filled to capacity and morgues were overwhelmed. State Governor Andrew Cuomo entered crisis mode and issued a warning to the rest of the country. No data. New York is in crisis. Help New York. And then pick up the camp and then go to the next place as this rolls across the country. A prediction that turned out to be true. The virus spread rapidly from coast to coast. By early April, it was impossible to deny the seriousness of the situation. We're in a very critical phase of our war against the coronavirus. The sacrifices we make over the next four weeks will have countless American lives saved. We're going to save a lot of American lives, and we're in control of our own fate, very much so. Despite the sacrifices, within a week, the United States led the world in COVID-19 deaths. It still tops the grim list. Confirmed infections have now topped the one million mark, a milestone that nobody wanted to reach at a time when calls to reopen the country are growing louder. Beaches in California were already packed at the weekend, and several cities and states are preparing to loosen stay-at-home restrictions. Right, let's explore this further and bring in our correspondent Stefan Simmons in Washington. Stefan, the US topped one million and makes up one third of all the confirmed coronavirus cases in the world. Why has the US been hit so hard? Well, I wish there was an easy and a, and, a, and a not complicated answer for this, but it is rather complicated and complex and it's uh, not easy to answer. However, most uh, importantly, it is um, what many, many says uh, that the administration slept through or was really, 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 really slow to respond to a growing threat of coronavirus in the United States. And as it turns out, we now know that uh, uh, the virus was already uh, making its way, infiltrating and uh, going through the public here in the U.S. Uh, uh, in late January, not in late February or mid-February, uh, as uh, thought before. And uh, it was Donald Trump and the Trump administration who, uh, for a long time in February, as you, we just saw in the piece, um, also said, uh, underplayed all of this and, and said, uh, this won't be a problem at all. Now it is a problem. We need in the United States massive texting. That's what, testing, that's what uh, the experts say. We're at 200,000 tests per day at the moment. Um, experts say 5 million tests per day are necessary to actually figure out where this virus is, how much and how deeply it infiltrated the U.S. populace here. Um, uh, and only then we can uh, start to reopen businesses safely and uh, uh, be aware of or be sure to be rid of coronavirus. OK, Stefan, uh, President Trump, as you said, has uh, kept on saying that he's got everything under control. Now the U.S. has hit this, this mark, this grim mark. What does it all say about his crisis management? Well, there's lots of people here, observers, uh, and across the political spectrum, by the way, and, of course, a lot of citizens um, and uh, experts who are saying, like, oh, this is not a, a, a prime performance 
uh, from the administration. Uh, to the contrary, um, just because the president says there's enough tests, just because the president says there is, uh, uh, um, uh, he and his work uh, saved millions of lives. That may be so. However, the death uh, rate is now at 58,000 people died. 58,000 people. And just a month uh, or uh, a little bit more than that, the president said like 15 um, uh, cases and all will go away. So, um, another example, the uh, uh, vice president showing up today at the Mayo Clinic in Minnesota without a mask, surrounded by experts and doctors and patients with a mask, and he's not wearing a mask. Um, that is exemplary for how many, many people and experts see this uh, uh, handling of the Trump administration, the handling of the coronavirus crisis, and, um, well, uh, they can and are not very happy with the administration. Okay, thank you. Stefan Simmons in Washington.